Hi, my name is Mr. D and today I want to take a look at a median and centroid problem. So we have in triangle ABC, medians AD and BE intersect at point P. We have let AP equal 4X minus 8 and PD equal X plus 1 and we need to find the length of line segment AD. So for this problem there's a really useful theorem that deals with intersecting medians. They intersect at the centroid and we know that the centroid divides the median into two segments whose lengths are in the ratio 2 to 1 and the longer segment is nearest the vertex. Now to make this simple, the first thing we do is label all the information. So we know these medians are intersecting at point P at the centroid. So we could label AP as 4X minus 8 and we could label PD as X plus 1. This information was given to us. But like I said, the theorem was in a bit of, like the language was a little confusing. So to make it simple, just think of it as the long piece is twice as long as the short piece. That's it. And to identify the long piece is going to use the vertex, the corner, as one of its sides. It goes to the centroid. The short piece goes from the centroid to the midpoint of the opposite side. So remember, the long piece goes to the corner or the vertex. So if we think about that, how is that phrased? The long piece is AP, and this segment is twice as long as the short piece PD. So just say that a few times in your head. The long piece AP is twice as long as the short piece PD. But now all we do is substitute. We know that AP is equal to 4x minus 8. So on the left hand side instead of AP we can replace that with 4x minus 8 and on the right hand side we have 2 times PD but PD is equal to x plus 1 so we can replace PD with x plus 1. Now we distribute so for the next line we have 4x minus 8 equals 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 1 is 2. So at this step now we're just solving an equation. We're going to subtract 2x from both sides. 2x minus 2x cancels. We have 4 minus 2 is 2. So you have 2x minus 8 equals 2. To get rid of minus 8 we're going to add 8 to both sides minus 8 plus 8 cancels, 2x equals 10, divide both sides by 2, this tells us that x is equal to 5. But be careful, students solve for x, they remember the theorem, they're happy, but remember, what is the question asking us to find? We need to find the length of AD. So the strategy is, if we're trying to find the length of the entire thing, we need to find the length of each piece, and we're going to add them together. So first, we could find the length of AP. AP is equal to 4x minus 8. But instead of x, we're going to leave a blank parenthesis there. x is equal to 5. So AP is equal to 20 minus 8. We're just doing 4 times 5. So AP is equal to 12. Now before we do any work, if we remember our theorem, the long piece which we just found to be 12 is twice as long as the short piece. So the short piece should be 6 before we do any work, but when we substitute, we see that PD is equal to X plus 1, but X is equal to 5, so we have that PD is equal to 6, which it should be, because the short piece is half the big piece, or the big piece is twice as long as the short piece. So we have 12 and 6, but now remember, to find the length of the entire segment AD, what we need to do is we're going to add up the length of the entire thing because AD we go 12 then we go 6 so AD is equal to 12 plus 6 and our final answer AD is equal to 18 so this is our answer here okay well this is going to conclude this centroid and median problem thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful